Hi, my name's Dan, and this video is the first in a series that I'm going to do on using uh, AI in Unreal. Um, and so the first thing that you need to understand if you're going to do AI in Unreal is uh, a little bit about the concept of pawns and controllers. So Unreal separates the idea of any kind of character that's being controlled in the world into these two ideas, um, pawns and controllers. And if you've done some of the other videos that I've done, you might have uh, had somewhere I've been playing around with the controller uh, uh, class, which is set by default as to be the, the player controller. Um, I haven't looked in other ones particularly at the, at the player character. So I'll just tell you um, what I've got here, which is the, a standard first-person template. Um, and the the thing I want to focus on a little bit here is this character here, which is uh, what you actually effectively possess when you start playing. So I'll click play, and you run around, and you're moving, you're controlling that character. Okay. So this character is a, um, a an example of a pawn. Uh, a pawn is something that can be controlled in Unreal, and. Uh, the pawn itself is the thing that has all the physicality attached to it. It has the presence in the world, um, and sometimes uh, it, there might be physics that interacts. This one's got animation because it's a, a, a rigged character. Okay, and um, the the way that this is separated in Unreal it means that this character could be being played by uh, a human person as a player. Uh, but it could also be controlled by an AI controller. And the separation that it uses in this way means that you can pl plug out or pull out uh, human controllers or player controllers and plug in AI controllers. And uh, when you get dropouts in uh, multiplayer games, this is a particularly useful thing to be able to do, is just to be able to uh, plug in a, an AI while somebody's got a dropout, for example. Um, so... Um, the, I'm just going to show you then in this character. So this this third person character is um, uh, as in fact. Let's go to the go to the class. Third person blueprint. Blueprints. And there's the third person character class, and that tells you tells you that this parent class is character, but character in turn inherits from pawn. So all things that can be controlled in this way have derived from a um, a master pawn class. Um, and in this, if we click on the class defaults for this um, and scroll down a bit, uh, I'm looking for the, the pawn stuff. Here we go. Um, so by default, when we use one of these third-person characters, um, it's by default it's not auto-possessed by a player, um, and there's a default con uh, AI controller class. Uh, that exists that will uh, plug in if it's been placed in the world. So if you get an, uh, an extra one of these and put it in the world and uh, press play, we've got this one here, which is being controlled by a player, and I'll show you how that's happened. But we've got this one here as well, which isn't just still. The actual AI controller is um, uh, a default class, and it's uh, it's not actually doing anything at the moment. So if I highlight this particular one and go down to the the settings for the pawn, which are way down after the character movement, you see that it's overridden the class defaults. Um, and it's using, where are we, character pawn, here we go. And it's um, put in player zero there instead of disabled. So the player zero is the default player when you start playing the game. Um, and that's going to use the, the default uh, player controller class. Uh, and so we've got set here the player controller class that's going to be used and the AI controller. It actually doesn't specify uh, a class here. It's player, so it specifies a player number. Where do you specify the class for the player controller? Well, that's ill. you've probably seen this before. It's in the world settings, sorry, the project settings. And it's in maps and modes. And so you can specify it differently depending on the mode that you've got in your game. So we've got a default game mode here, which is a third-person game mode. I'll just open this toggle up here. And it's got the default pawn class, which is a third-person character. And it also gives you the default uh, 
player controller class, which is the player controller. So through this series of videos, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, create a, a controller, but it's going to be really similar to, uh, similar to the third person uh, character that we've got here. And we're going to spend uh, quite a lot of time exploring how the AI controllers work and um, how we can get it to actually make another character in the scene actually do something. Uh, so uh, watch the rest of the series. This was just an introduction, and this is it from me for now. Mm -hmm.